Hello everybody, I'm Bones and Hoonie, and today, <clears throat> we're back for another video, so I haven't posted recently. It's been three weeks since I last posted. Crazy. But, new series, I now own a mowing business. Also, a little update on, a little update on the dealership series. I had accidentally forgot to cloud save FS, so I lost the map. Wonder what that huge RV is, but probably somebody else's thing. Let's get down these ramps, and that Corvette is mine, though. Let me go ask one of the workers what the heck that is, because I'm really curious. I don't think I'm supposed to be there. <laughs> I don't think that's the area that I'm supposed to be in. Right, I'm gonna quickly go and talk to the workers. So uh, I'll be back when they tell me what that is. The workers pulled this up a little bit. I looked around and apparently it's for sale. Nobody had actually like bought it. I guess like somebody had traded it in for like tons of equipment. I don't know why it would be it. John Deere dealership though, but I might buy it in the future. Comment down below if you want me to buy it. But let's get this beast on. We might have to do two trips. As this is not gonna be pretty easy, but yep. They gave a cover to me. It's in the trunk of this. We might have to move the ramps. Just their width here. Maybe we'll have to do that. We'll see. Yeah, we're gonna. Excuse me. I'll just leave this thing running. We are in Iowa, by the way. Bottom her out, huh? Come on, Bessie. Push. Come on. Alright. Shut this baby off. Strap her down. And I did get a dirt bike. I'll probably just drive that home if I don't have enough room for this stuff. So we have two John Deere mowers here. One X728 Ultimate and then an Oldie 330. So we'll grab the Oldie cause, you know, it's an Oldie. You gotta. Uh, we'll probably need to put those ramps back in again. But I might, you know, before I put those ramps back in, we'll see if these guys fit on with the ramps like that. And if so, we'll leave the ramps on and then we'll grab these two going. That little Amazon Profi one is just like a random thing that I bought on the internet. But yeah, this ain't gonna work. Sorry about that, guys. Don't know what that was all about. So we need to get... These guys a little further in. So that we can get this bad boy on the trailer. And we'll probably just leave it at that. Because that's probably the width that we'll need it for the other... Mowers. So we'll just leave it at that. And then pull her as far forward as we can. Yeah, we're probably going to have to make two trips. I'm gonna strap it on the front end of this in case. Strap that guy down, and you know what? I'll see you guys 
once we have all this stuff loaded up, because it's going to take a little bit. We're back. Did everything. Got the Corvette on still. We couldn't fit two mowers on there, so I put on the dirt bike. It's kind of hanging off a little bit, but that's mainly because I put it on an awkward way. Rather than putting it straight on, because it would be better if I put it at an angle so the strap would hold it better. So we're heading on back to the compounds area, I guess you could say. The I guess you could say the business. This video is probably not going to be much mowing at all. It's probably going to be getting all the equipment. But that is my house right there. We've got four flags going up there. And then we've got Don't Tread on Me. And of course, got the Ford flag. Because Ford is goaded. If you don't own a Ford, go get a Ford. The Corvette is actually going to end up going over there. Same with the dirt bike. So. I'm going to just take the dirt bike off. Because it's the most lightest thing ever. And for now, we'll just leave it right there. Alright, so dirt bike is set down. This thing is light enough to literally just be picked up by hand. Uh, what I didn't show you guys was we do have a skid steer here already. I decided to order one in advance. So we have a little cat skid steer in here with a trailer mover on it. And then we also have a mower, a leveler, and a pallet fork for it. But yeah, this stuff we're going to put away. Bigger equipment will go in that shed over there. But for now... Since we don't have a lot of big equipment, it's all going to get put in here. Because eventually we're going to get batwing mowers that need tractors, which is going to be a whole shebang. So that's mainly why. This guy is not heavy enough for me to pick up off the trailer, so... Yeah, he's going to come off like that. And then we'll grab the Corvette off and we'll just put it off to the side as well. This guy is probably going to be our main mower. And then we also have another one of these. In case if one is not working properly. So we're going to park this guy right up next to that one. We do have a lift in here for if anything gets broken. So yeah, we have many tools that will help us if something goes wrong. Now we just got to get this guy off of the trailer, which is probably not going to be my favorite thing. That was actually easier than I thought it was. So I'm going to just drive this guy over to the house, because I need to put it in the garage. I don't think these garage doors automatically open. Not what I wanted. Oh my lord. That should not be happening. Alright, we just had a little bit of technical difficulties, you know. But I think we'll be fine. So park that bad boy right there. Close the garage door. We're just going to run on back. That's the nice thing about having the shop right across from my house is that I could literally just walk on back over here. So now we just have to go back to the dealer and grab the rest of the stuff. I think the one thing that I so far hate about this lot is it's impossible to turn in it. As you can see, I literally just hit the dirt bike. So we're gonna move over there. It's a, it's a Honda dirt bike. Not a very popular one, but it was the cheapest one on the market, so I decided to get it. By the way, this is a 2023 Ford F350 Keen Ranch, obviously. But this is made by DTG. 616, go check him out. He's on my network as well. This has gotten on my network along with this trailer. Basically, all these mods are from my network. Today, I'm not actually using a lot of private mods, as, there's, as most of the private mods I had are meant for the dealership. Which, I promise you guys, will be happening as soon as I get the map rebuilt and all the mods and put in. I already have all the mods put in. I just need to get everything situated how it was before. 
Some things might be a little different. That's why I'm telling you about it now. So very sorry for the inconvenience on that. Hopefully I'll be able to get it going soon. But back to the roleplay. Alright, start this beast back on it. Listen to that. This is actually a mod on my network as well. But this mod was um, made by originally my game Steam and then somebody had changed it and put John Deere decals on it. And then you just have to put the JD green here, JD yellow, JD yellow there, and then it's all good. But I like how they finally did that because I kept on using John Deere colors, but they never had John Deere logos. So this is a Profi Hopper, basically. It's just a mower that stores all the grass clippings back here, and then there's also a little headlight right there in the front for when you're working at night time. The reason why I got this was for certain jobs where they want me to, like, bag it up. Not many jobs do that, but sometimes if, like, the Zero Tones aren't doing the job, I'll take this guy with me as a backup. Or one of these smaller mowers, like that one. So let's grab the last Zero Turn and we will head on back and then we'll end the video there. But I will give you a tour of the place before we end off the video. So yeah, a lot of these tiny mowers, like I said, are going to go in the blue shed. And then the bigger equipment for when we get in, in the future is going to go in that tan shed. As that one is a lot bigger. And it's actually more so meant for tractors. And the blue shed is actually a local farm's shed. If you don't know who that is, it's a YouTuber. And stop that. Strap her down. Come on. Alright. Let's fold up the ramps and let's get going. So yeah, I guess that thing is called like a renegade or something. I guess it's like a camper with like that on the back. So if I wanted to, I'd get like a custom trailer for it. But I might come back in the future and buy it. That's if you guys think I should. So comment down below if you think I should buy that. It's also a motorcycle there. Looks nice. A lot of you guys are probably going to be wondering why I went for the classic red and tan. Well, I think it just wanted to mix it up, you know? I usually go with, like, a blue and something else. Then I decided to mix it up, make it look a little different. But yeah, th this is, like, a very nice map. I would recommend it. I believe you have to pay money for it, though. But luckily, my buddies were nice and got it for me. Oh, I think it's, like, a buck or something, though, from what I can remember. So all this stuff is going to go in that blue shed. And then we'll just leave the dirt bike there. I might just use the dirt bike to, like, drive around. Mm. I think that's the one thing I hate about these flagpoles is that they're just in the way. Oh, knock down the sign. That's the one thing that I don't like about those flagpoles is that they tend to get in the way. But I'm going to just park the truck over here for now. And yeah, we'll just leave those ramps down anyway. Because either way, I'm probably going to be loading stuff on it for next time. I will be getting more trailers in the future. Eventually, you might be getting semis for those bigger jobs that I need to do. But we will just be mowing houses, hopefully, in this first few <laughs> these first few days. But yep, now we're going to start putting mowers and stuff over here as we have more room over here now as that other area has been taken up. Excuse me. Yeah, that entire area has a lot of tools in it, which is what I'm gonna like a lot. And then we have power washer right there. I also have this garden hose that comes out of my toolbox as you can see. It's just in here and I can take it out, wash anything I need. Then you can just put it right on back. I wouldn't really say it's a garden hose, but it kind of is a garden hose. It's like one of those portable hoses that you could use to like shower or wash yourself off or something. Sorry if my voice is like a little different. My voice is a little sore. But let's get this bad boy put away. I probably the first thing on the agenda would probably be mowing my <laughs> my um place here. And then maybe mowing a little bit of my house, because that lawn is also a little overgrown. 
Hopefully when we get the bat wing though, it'll be a mulcher because I don't want to be picking up hay and turning it into pails. That's the main reason why all of these mowers that I get. Whereas this one I think actually sadly makes hay along with that other small John Deere mower, but the zero turns do not do that and neither does the profi hopper. So we're gonna just take this bad boy, go put her away. It doesn't even it even has a speedometer there. For being not a super new tractor, this thing is actually pretty nice. Same thing with that one, like for being pretty old, it's actually got a nice heads up display and all that. The whole reason why I have that trailer thing hooked up to that is because hooked up to this good series because if I didn't, it would be a really big pain in the butt because oh, because if I were to here, let me give you an example. So look, it just does that. It for some reason just falls and it doesn't sit properly. Which is why I right now have it like that, because if I don't, it's going to be a pain. But, yeah, I'll show you guys around here. So we've got toilet on here. Very old toilet. Not very good. Urinal. Um, just, I guess, some soap or whatever. Random cleaning bottles, some paper towels, sink, you know, normal bathroom things. This is the workshop area where we got my toolbox, all this. And then in here is the kitchen slash work area. And then we got big sky equipment, your first stop for upgrades, new vehicles, etc. This is meant to be... We've got tons of coffee in here. I love... I don't know what MT stands for. But there's just tons of Walker Farms stuff in here. So just don't mind that. I can't control it. That's how the mod came. What the heck? Why is... All of this stuff everywhere? Oh, I think I know what happened. Sorry, guys. The game has been glitching out a lot. When I, I had accidentally clicked my mouse when I went to do that um, thing. So it had picked up those via the skid steer and it like flung it around and all that. I did not mean for that to happen. Sorry about that. We're just going to put these guys right back. Role play's kind of ended anyway. We've got storage over here. Don't tread on me. Tons of stuff like that. Storage up here for tons of parts. Recycling stuff, tons of storage bins, pieces for big buds, case IHs, JCBs, um, I think those are engine pieces, batteries, stuff like that. And then over here we've got some propane up there, no, that's a fertilizer or whatever. All that stuff, we got the store that leads outside, same thing with this garage door. Yeah, let's turn on the lights in here, it's pretty dark, where's the other light switch? I can never find the light switches, but yeah, we got some couches in here. Computer for me to work at. Hat. We got all this stuff, printers, stuff like that. Normal stuff that you would find in a shed. More storage over here with some metal pipes that are all rusted out. And then we got the cutter over here. More big butt in case I H boxes. More soap for the bathroom. Premium motor oil, all that ladder hung up there and then we gotta just quickly come on over here boop, 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 walk over my trailer got another pressure washer for the shed over here now this is one of the nicer sheds that you can find on the market here so we got a small shed door there huge massive hydraulic shed door nice big shelves for tools and parts another bathroom but it's not actually really a nice bathroom because it's got the propane and stuff in it. Got fuel barrels here, pallet mover, big, big ladder, another ladder, smaller one. Got storage up here, wooden beams, stuff like that. This is where like the skid steer will have stuff put up here and then we move it around. We've got the green stars for the tractors, a PTO for a tractor. believe that is a oil filter right there. A couple boxes for some storage and all that few boxes that need to get thrown out. We got tons of nice big shelves over here. 
even more boxes. I believe those are these are actually um headlights that I might be attaching to a few things. We got some beacons, more PTOs. And then this is just a big old pipe over here. But yeah, that's basically the storage for this one. We have another hydraulic door over here. Let me show you guys. We have another hydraulic door over here. Huge one. This one's a little bit different. As it has these yellow bits that kind of extend it up. Rather than folding out, this one is a lot nicer and doesn't fold super far out. It folds up like this. And it's a lot nicer and isn't as big and bulky. Air conditioning up there. That might be just like something else, but more storage. We got some pipes, stuff like that. Another step ladder. Really gotta move this out of the way. We got buckets. The whole shebang. Nice big shelf again. Multiple shelves. And then over here we've got the broom. Need to put that in the closet. Garbage cans. Another broom. Light switches that don't do anything. Power box. More light switches. This is where I'll be working on the big equipment, that's for sure. If I need to lift anything up, though, I go to that blue shed. For some reason, my ankle grinder is falling out of there. But yeah, that's basically... Oh. The whole area, I'll go and give you a tour of my house, I guess. And then we can end off the video there. I might as well just take the dirt bike over there, because I need to anyway. This thing can go 100 miles per hour, guys. This thing can be a little crazy. So, oof, we almost went in there. Almost went in the ditch. First things first, we got nice little flowers out here. We'll just leave that there. We got some decorations, some seats out here. These seats are very low. But if we come in the front door here, we got a fireplace that has no wood in at the moment. Couches, TV. I forgot that it plays that in this house. Got some Wheaties. Got the coffee maker. Got the oven. Fridge. Donuts, muffins, cheese. Looks like it's going to be 55 except the TV saying different things. Bathroom in here with a nice little shower. Patio out back. Little deck. And then... My office, where I have a huge safe for some weird reason. <laughs> and then laundry room, with literally two washing machines. And then this leads into the garage, where we have the Corvette, bicycles, stuff like that. We have a weed whacker in here. As you can see trains going on by. We got tons of old truck photos everywhere, as you can see. Ford, because obviously Ford's the best. We got an old Iowa farm. You can see they got a 4020, maybe that's a 5020. Hard to tell, but that looks like a 50, 40, 20 to me. Got some newer tractors up there. And then we go on upstairs. You've got a little seating here. Bedroom. I believe another bedroom. Really big bathroom with shelves in it. More old truck photos. But I think the video is going to end here. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.